Well, regardless of how we have come to celebrate it over the years, the real meaning of Memorial Day has nothing to do with barbecues or the beach. It is about honoring those who gave their lives for our freedom, service members and first responders. And that's exactly where Carry the Load comes in. Thousands of people took part in this year's annual uh, Memorial March, carrying the load across the country for those who never made it home. It's an event that we at WFAA are proud to be a part of each year, too. And our own John McKay took part in today's closing ceremony at Dallas's Riverson Park. And our Kevin Reese is still there right now to tell us more about it. Kevin. Yeah, and there are thousands of stories here on Memorial Day in Riverson Park. It's difficult to do justice to them all. So many sacrifices, so many families. But here is one story and one person I hope you will pay attention to, someone whose story sums up all of the reasons for being here. His name is Nate Harrison. He's a Marine veteran. He survived battle in places like Fallujah, lost friends in combat. But his injuries, including losing his right leg and losing his eyesight, are from a motorcycle crash when he was serving as a police officer in Kansas City. Still, he was here all this weekend, walking all night last night on the Katy Trail with help from the Adaptive Training Foundation, one of the veteran assistance organizations supported here in Dallas by Carry the Load. If he can do this, he says, you can too. And ask that you remember the brothers and sisters he's lost and the veterans like him who could still use your help here at home. We got a show show our country that you know our, our nation's heroes uh, in the military law enforcement fire rescue uh, haven't been forgotten and in addition to honoring memorial day remember carry the load helps support more than two dozen organizations like the adaptive training foundation here in dallas content to continue helping veterans just like nate harrison the events for this Memorial Day have wrapped up here in Revachon Park, and already the planning begins for their mission to do this all again next year when they hope more people like you will join their cause. Live in Revachon Park, I'm Kevin Reese, Channel 8 News.